Hello friends, so today in this video we are going to discuss the first problem from the latest educational code forces round 111 problem name find the array. So the problem statement actually like uh, explains that you are actually a beautiful array is an array in which either the element ai is equal to 1 or at least one of the number is ai minus 1 or ai minus 2. What you can understand from this problem is you can see the different examples. 5, 3, 1 is a beautiful array. Why? Because a1 is equal to, so as you can see it's equal to 5. Uh, so as you can see like there is 1 also there is 3 and there is 5 so it is actually a like beautiful array why because the number a1 minus 2 is equal to 3 and also so for any number you have then either a like as you can say at least one of the numbers ai minus 1 should exist or ai minus 2 should exist so if you have any number then at least one of them should at least which is like like Sub take that number subtract 1 or subtract 2 so if 5 is there then at least 3 or 4 should at least be there now because there is 3 so like 1 can be there and that's the answer because 1 should be there so now this these are di different beautiful arrays as you can see now the problem statement is telling you to find out a beautiful array such that you have to find out a total minimum number of numbers there should be in the beautiful array such that the sum of the elements is equal to s now it might sound confusing to you but you can easily understand with the example parts the first thing you are, the key observation what you can see here is because you want to find out the minimum possible sum so as you can see if you want to find out the minimum possible sum or the minimum possible length sorry not the minimum possible sum the minimum possible size of the array if you want to decrement the size and the total sum of the elements of that beautiful array is given to you so what you can easily do in this problem is try to make every number uh, like so if if you take one as the starting number because one should be there then the other number should be three then another number should be five and so on so that's the maximum number which can be there so what i mean by this is the first number can be one the other number can be three the other number can be five so the total sum has become eight sorry nine at this point but now let's assume that you want to make the array sum that such that you want to put a eight at the total sum if you want 8 as a total sum, what you can easily do in here is you have made 4. That is also fine because 3 minus 4 is a like uh, 4 minus 1 is like ai minus 1, which is like 3 exists in this array. So you can put either ai minus 1 or ai minus 2. Okay, so now if you want to, let's assume that if you want to put a total sum of 8, then you can do like this. If you want to total put total sum of 9, then you can like you might have put like this, which is like uh, 5. Now, maybe if you want a total sum of, let's assume, uh, uh, 9, uh, this is 9, total sum of 10. Now, as you can see, you always have to increase because the total minimum sum you can get with the three elements is, as you can see, 8, or oh, sorry, 9. For getting a sum more than 9, you have to add one more element. So, if you add one more element, let's assume that if you add 1, then the total sum will become 10. 1 is fine because, as you can see, AI, so if you take any number AI minus 2, this number exists. So as you can see, any number should exist. If you take out any other number, that should pair with that number. I hope you get the point. So you can put 2 here also, which can pair with this also. Then you can put 3 also because it can pair with this. You can put a 4 here, which can again pair with this. You can put a 5 here. Okay. And then like you can put a 6 here. So that it can increment the total sum so that's how you can make any number so you have to keep on decreasing the total sum so you can make any number so from like 9 the other number you can add is 7 so from 7 any number you can make so the total sum at this point is like 4 uh, plus uh, like 9 plus 7 so 16 so total sum is at this point 16 so as you can see from 8 till 16 you can make any number with four four numbers i hope you get the point so because as I've told you, like for any number, there should be AI minus 1 or AI minus 2 should be exist in the array. And that's the, like that exists in the array. So that's how you can make any part, counterpart. And then you can just do this problem in this way. So the total, uh, like the core part of this is very easy. Now what you can do here is just to find a total number of uh, numbers you have to use and the total sum till now. So if my total sum somehow exceed S, so what I mean by this is because I want to somehow get over S. If I'm less than S, then I can form any number between like using that, which I've told you. So as you can see, if uh, I have like I want to make 8 or 9, I can make using three numbers. If I want to make number 10, which is more than 
the total sum of one, three, five. You have to you have to like alternatively add the numbers. You have to alternatively add the numbers, and if it exceed like uh, the total sum, so uh, the total sum of the array should be let's assume equal to eleven. So you can make this with four digits. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do, and uh, we have to subtract the alternative sum. So first is one, then it's three, then it's five, and so on. So that's what we're gonna subtracting here. Okay, and then we have to subtract this from n, the number itself, and at each point we will in, like increment the total number of elements we are adding in there. And if that overshoots the total, like whenever my total sum in, overshoots n, then that's the total size of the array we can make. I hope you understand the logic and the code part for this problem. Stay tuned for more videos. I will see you next time. Learn coding and bye.